Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. What causes menopause? Well, you know, menopause is that point in a woman's life where her monthly cycles come to an end. And often a woman will end up with symptoms like hot flashes, night sweats, insomnia, racing heart rate. The thing is, what causes this to occur? That's what's important to understand so you'll understand the management that would make the most sense. Um, so what causes this? Well, normally at the end of a menstrual cycle, estrogen and progesterone levels are really low in the bloodstream. There's a gland in the brain called the hypothalamus that senses that, and it sends these little releasing chemicals or factors to another gland up in the brain called the pituitary. Then the pituitary, in, in response, sends these hormones through the bloodstream called FSH and LH. And those two hormones, follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone, go down to the ovaries and they tell the ovaries, let's get, a little, let's get some of these immature egg follicles to start maturing and ripening. So another uh, ovulatory cycle begins. While the eggs are developing in the ovaries, uh, they're secreting estrogen. And then around day 14, you know, one of them sort of outpaces the rest and it sort of jumps out into the fallopian tube and now you have ovulation. And as it's rolling down the fallopian tube, uh, you're getting more estrogen being secreted by that unfertilized egg. And then what's left back in the, in the ovary after ovulation is a thing called the corpus luteum, which is primarily secreting progesterone, which is higher in the second part of the menstrual cycle. Now, if no fertilization takes place, then that egg, as it rolls down the fallopian tube, will run out of steam and dry up, and it'll stop secreting estrogen, so estrogen levels will drop down. And the corpus luteum, back in the ovaries, that leftover part, will shrivel up and stop secreting progesterone. So now estrogen and progesterone levels drop down, you have menstruation, the hypothalamus picks up the signal and says, okay girls, let's do it again next month. And then all of a sudden those hormones go down to the ovaries and you start another menstrual cycle. So what happens at menopause? Do you run out of egg follicles? No, that's not what happens. You still have some egg follicles there, but these are ones that have had many years to respond to those hormones. These are really, in a sense, the least intelligent eggs you have left. And so they don't respond that well to those hormones. So the brain seems to know that the eggs are there, so it starts to bombard the ovaries to try to stimulate another ovulatory cycle, but these eggs just don't seem to respond. So, you, they, so the brain starts blasting away with these high levels of FSH and LH, then there's a spillover effect of some adrenaline, and before you know it, these hormones and neurotransmitters are causing hot flashes, night sweats, and all these uncomfortable symptoms. It can go on for five to seven years, and your estrogen and progesterone levels still stays down. So this becomes sort of what's at the root of it all. And, and with, estrogen, with estrogen being low, it allows calcium to leak out of bone and increases the likelihood that osteoporosis might occur if you don't take some positive steps. So what are the medical treatments? The medical treatments have been using estrogen and progesterone replacement therapy, sort of synthetic type drugs, but they've been shown to be a little bit dangerous in terms of risk of, of breast cancer, heart attack, and stroke. You probably know that. More recently, they've tried to use bioidentical hormones. The truth is we don't know for sure if they're safe. I wouldn't say that's the first thing to do. There are, there's very good evidence, and from personal experience, I can tell you about 80% of women can control many of those symptoms using some natural herbs and some dietary practices. And the problem is that most medical doctors have never really studied nutrition and natural medicine to the point where they even understand it. And so I'd like you to understand it so that you'll know what you can do naturally to help manage menopause without putting yourself at risk for any serious side effects. It's all explained in my ebook available right here called The Natural Management of Menopause. I think every woman should read it because most medical doctors don't have an understanding of this. So you should download it right now, The Natural Management of Menopause. Every woman should read it as she approaches the menopausal years of her life. Now remember at machinohealth.com, you can see all my review articles and downloads, resources that I created, footage from my live seminars, other videos. All these things that I've put together that you can have access to for free that will help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my review articles and teaching materials come complete with all scientific references so you'll know you're going to be only getting sound, scientific, evidence-based information on any health topic that you're looking for. So you really should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing, reliable resource for health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.